To access Psych Info, first go to the library homepage, click on the Databases tab, and then you can scroll down under Select a Subject to Psychology. When you do that, Psych Info will be listed as the best bet for psychology, so click on the name of the database. As a sample search, I'm going to put in mobile apps for depression, and it only gives me 12 results, and my results look decent, but I can definitely find more. So in order to do a better search, I'm going to use something called Psych Info Subject Headings. So I start with the first part of my question, mobile apps, and click Suggest Subject Terms. And then it shows me the list of specific vocabulary that Psych Info uses to describe different concepts. So I can click and see that there is mobile applications available. It's a relatively new term. So I might want to include some other terms as well, like mobile technology and mobile phones. And then I'm going to add them to my search with the search operator OR. Now I'm going to go to the second part of my question, which is depression. And when I search for depression, I see that there are some different options. And when I click on major depression, it gives me a useful definition, which is major depression is used to discuss the clinical disorder, not just the emotion. So I'm going to add this to my search with the search operator AND. So what I'm searching for is any one of my terms for mobile applications or mobile technology AND depression. And in this case, I got a lot more results, so then I can use the filters that are available to play around with my results and limit down to something that's more focused on what I want. There are filters available for age. For example, if I only want to look for articles about teenagers, I can select the age filter for adolescents. And that brings me down to 15 results. If I decide that that's not what I want, I can always remove that filter by clicking on the little X next to it in the left menu. Another useful filter that's available if you scroll down is methodology. So you can select specific kinds of studies, for example, empirical studies, quantitative studies, clinical trials, etc. And you can select as many of these as you want. Systematic reviews and meta-analyses can be useful to get an overview of the research literature on a topic. So now I have 79 results and I can look through those, or I can decide I don't want any of those filters, I'm going to clear them all and go back to my broader search. You'll notice that under each article there is either a link for the full text or a search for item link. When you click the search for item link, it will check if we have that article available in any of our databases or if you need to request it from Interlibrary Loan. Interlibrary Loan is available to you as a pay student for no additional cost, so you either need to log in or create an account with your PACE credentials, and when you're coming from one of our databases, it will automatically fill out all of the information for the article that you need. And when it's ready, which will usually be within a day or two, you'll get a link that it's ready to download. You click where it says View Electronically Received Articles, and your article will be available. If there is a link available for PDF full text, you can click on that. The PDF will be there, and you can download it, print it out, or there is a useful email tool. You can email the article to yourself and if you want, include the APA formatted citation in the email. Or you can click on the little cite tool and just get the APA formatted citation. You do need to check these citations over. They're not always perfect, but they generally do tend to be pretty good. So you can copy that and paste it into your bibliography. We're always available for more help. We have an online research guide for psychology, or you can visit our library help page at asklibrary.pace.edu and reach out to a librarian.